that we affectionately call at Tree Frog Treks frog skin, but really it's the old-fashioned gap, and we just water it down a little bit. You're going to need to get yourself some glue, some water, and this fine powder which is in the laundry soap aisle called Borax for 20 meal team Borax soap. And then we just need some food color. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to grab ourselves a plate for a demonstration. We're going to put a little bit of Borax. You don't need much, maybe a pinch or two. I'm going to just use this lid to measure in a little bit of borax into some water. And then I'm going to dye it. In this case, since we're making frog skin, I'm going to dye it green. You only need enough to actually make the water just a slight bit cloudy, and if there's a few particles left in, you've got the perfect amount. First, we pour in our watered-down glue. And remember, you can actually do this in the hand of the children, too. And then we pour in a little bit of the borax solution. Remember, this is a soap, 20 mil team borax, Nothing dangerous, wouldn't be great to eat, but it wouldn't hurt you. Not to be confused with boric acid. It is simply 20 mule team borax. And then look how quickly they hold hands to make what we call a long chain polymer, or in this case, we call it frog skin. And frogs breathe through their skin, so they need extra clean water, no pollution, no oil in their pond. Here's some great gack or frog skin.